Beloved in the Lord, once again we welcome you to our devotions for the day. And as I have mentioned, this year we are reflecting on a general theme of discipleship, teaching everyone to live like Jesus Christ. In this theme, we are looking forward to presenting each and every one of you perfect in Jesus Christ. So we admonish and we teach everyone to be perfect so that he or she can be presented to the Lord whole. We are also looking at this theme to address that nominal nature in which we see ourselves in contemporary Christianity. Many people do not care as to living the life of Jesus Christ. But this year, for the people called Methodists, we are saying that let us all revisit our roots and know who we are and begin to live the New Testament Christianity and to live only as Jesus and his disciples lived. I am your host, the Most Reverend Dr. Paul Kovner Boafo. Let us pray. Once again, O Lord, be present with us. Lead and direct us through your word. May we experience you through your word. May we not go our own way, having heard from you and having read for your word. Abide with us and teach us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Our reading for the day is Mark Chapter 1, reading from verse 1 through 8. And our theme is John the Baptist prepares the way. In the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sons. My dear Christian friends, I have said that this year we are looking at discipleship, teaching everyone to live like Jesus Christ. This passage brings us to the foundation of the theme and how we can learn of Jesus. We need to take the first step of repentance. We need to look at the way we have responded to the message of Jesus Christ before we can come to live like him. The gospel according to Saint Mark gives us the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And truly, every great story has a beginning. And Mark takes us to the beginning of the gospel the beginning of the good news. 
So this book is the good news of Jesus Christ. It is good news that Mark tells us. Good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ and he qualifies and says the son of God. It is good news concerning Jesus. And every word that Mark used to describe Jesus is so important. First, this is the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who lived historically, who walked this earth like any other man. It is the good news of the Christ. That's why I said of Jesus Christ, of the Messiah, of the promised anointed Savior of men. It is the good news of the Son of God. So you can see from this passage where Mark talks about Jesus Christ, Son of God. So he gives us all that we need to know about Jesus, a son, the son of God, the son of God, unique son of God, the son of God in Jesus Christ. And he goes back to look at what was written about Jesus Christ. And if we Remember what we studied yesterday? We talked about him as existing before all. He is the creator. And a lot had been prophesied about him. So the first thing Mark will say about the ministry of John the Baptist is that it was prophesied in the Old Testament. The one who was coming to announce the arrival or the advent of the Messiah. So he refers to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 3. And those passages, as we also find in Malachi 3 and verse 1, predict the forerunner who would come to prepare the way of the Lord. The forerunner whom God will call my messenger. Who is this messenger? And he is so important. He is coming to announce the arrival of the Savior, the arrival of the Messiah. He comes and he talks about the Son of God. Mark says, the ministry of this messenger, who is John the Baptist, was to prepare the way of the Lord. And he prepared the way of Jesus Christ in Mark's mind. And as we also know, Jesus is Lord. What does he say as the messenger? His message was very simple. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. This passage, Mark quotes from Isaiah, has in mind building up a great road for the arrival of a majestic king. The idea is that all holes, or in Ghanaian parlance, all potholes, all potholes must be filled. And all hills must be brought low so that the way can be straight, the way can be smooth. Beloved in the Lord, the coming of the Messiah needs a preparation. The acceptance of the Lord into our lives 
and to study and to live like him and to behave like him and to talk and walk like him calls for a big preparation. And the idea of preparing the way of the Lord is a word picture because the real preparation must take place not physically but spiritually. It is a preparation of our hearts. It is the remolding of our hearts. It is having the heart that God dwells in. It is to move away from the stony heart and get the heart of the flesh, which alone Jesus gives, which alone surrenders to God. Beloved in the Lord, we are all aware of how roads are built. And building a road is very much difficult. And so in preparing for God to come and dwell among us and in our hearts, it will cost us. Whether we are building feeder road, asphalt, or whatever, they are expensive. They must deal with a lot of different problems, rocks, environment, and needs an expert engineer to give us the best of roads. So if the messenger is calling for a preparation of the way, then if the heart is to be prepared for the Lord to come into it, it calls for an expensive, it calls for an elaborate, and calls for a very thought about method. Because Jesus was a coming Messiah and King, John the Baptist cried in the wilderness and through his message, which he preached of repentance, he worked to prepare the way of the Lord. John was preparing the way. He calls on you and he calls on me today that if we indeed want to walk, want to live, want to teach, want to do everything like Jesus, the starting point is this preparation of our hearts. It is to prepare our hearts. And as I said, building roads costs governments. It's expensive. In the same way, building the road of the heart for the Lord is also very expensive. We need to do away with the old things that have come to dwell in the heart. It is to forgo and to let go that which are pleasures but that are not suitable in the Lord. That is why this year we will be singing again and again Oh, for a heart to praise my God. A heart from sun set free a heart that always feels thy blood so freely spilled for me. A heart resigned, submissive, and meek, 
which will be my great Redeemer's throne, where only Christ is heard to speak, where Jesus reigns alone. Charles Wesley, continuing this hymn, Methodist hymn 550, says, A humble, lowly, contrite heart, believing true and clean, which neither life nor death can part from him that dwells within. A heart in every thought renewed, and full of love divine, perfect and right and pure and good, a copy, Lord, of thine. And the last stanza, which is our theme hymn, calls on everyone to pray as we prepare, just as he calls us to prepare our hearts so responsive, so responsive. And our prayer is, Thy nature, gracious Lord, impart. Come quickly from above. Write thy new name upon my heart, thy new best name of love. So John called the people to come to Jesus. He was the one to build and to prepare the people. So one theologian, Steadman, said John was God's bulldozer to build that highway. For you and I, as the message comes to us, let us also see the need to let the Spirit of God bulldoze his way through our heart, the stony heart, the stubborn heart, the recalcitrant heart. Let us say, come, Holy Ghost, and take the heart. So he tells us, John, as he preached, John, as he talked about repentance for the remission of sins, the people responded. That is the interesting part. That is the interesting part of the message from the messenger. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. He talked about remission of sins. He talked to the soldiers. He talked to traders. He talked to kings. He talked to the high and to the low. He talked to men. He talked to women. And he talks to you and he talks to me. Prepare the way of the Lord. For the Messiah is coming. That is the message of John the Baptist. The Messiah is coming. For the people called Methodists, this is not different. Because our forebears came to John Wesley and they cried that they were running from the wrath of God to come. Today, as we look forward to experiencing the love, the joy, the blessings, the prosperity of this great King Messiah who is coming, let us also come to him, renouncing all the sin in us and pray for that heart that is clean. And they came running and said, we want to be baptized. We want to be cleaned from our sins. You and I can also come. We, you and I can also believe in him and call on him that he is the Lord. Dear Christian friends, this is the message for us. The people believed. 
And as they believed and they ran to him, they were baptized. You and I need to go down on our knees and confess that we will no longer live for ourselves, but we'll live for the Lord. Oniadofu, ene de insu nyami e adum me aba aba bishia ne yonkomo a ya chuchi ene se usieni ye ye chere chero bibia ma waba be waba ne bra. Say Jesus Christo. We na meta de se for the S E N E so. Ne ye nante hon ye tu hwa na mon. Se ye be tu miye tu sa na mon ya. Na ji se. Ye sha si ye ifri bebi. Ne no ne ne. Ne pe se me no. Ye pense me pense mo. O kan ma ka se mpa no. Eti ba akun, chiche mo ba akun, kwe si, unwa pche nwa. Ne e kasa, afo wenya me kwa ya wa fa aso, si e si e nan kwa ofwa, pra pra kwen mo, eto ho, e ma a jem kwa ne ma ye. O suman, ne sonfo, ne suman fwa ke si e, John, o suboni, e mo oba ye. Ne John, si i montin so, Na wana msresu, na wana mkrumu, na waba asempani devronu. Dudu wana wasresu no, watiemu, na frem kwa ufwa nese, monsachira mwajwene. Monsachira mwajwene. Sa abjini sachire, eni kwa nye edika ya, siya pese, Ya ni o nyame nante ni ya boy ya mbrasa ni ba Jesus Christ. E si ya di ka infaswa. Si ya pe mpunto ya pe ya di ya. E si ya di ya jwen sachira. E ni ya di yo. Wa se. Ya ma na tempo on entine. Ya nyu kwa ino fofro. Nti monche monke nyi na. Ya mfa. Asasi ngusu, nenye pradada. Mipo, ee wumuno, ee si ye jiri gufom. Ama se shene na msua, wetumi yako, nwa kweni ye. Na meka se, se ye yi kwa ya, ee adia, ni bwodin. Abayi kasi ube yi kwa ya, ni bwodin. Ee hiyan ni midiye, ee hiyan hunumu, ee hiyan vishemu bebre. Wanya ne saa kwanu yi ntu mi yi. Saa pepe pepe. Na meno onso si epe si yi kwan. Ni yi ni yi ya. Ne se. Yi tu anamowa ne bwode. Ne saa kwanu. E ni ya akuma. Si edi ya akuma beme urade. Ni ebe tinasi. Ni ya bobra. Na afatano. E nunti. Na fi ya nyuma edi ya si ya niswa. Ya si ya tu ono. Cha aswa sili suwa ya no. Di edi ya wye kura andi waka nese urade. Fa usuba ya no mame. Mame nsanka ni se se. Shuro di info fro ma koma so. Udiya e ya dono. Na di edi ka ena waka no se. O, anka menya akoma boni nye. Akoma boni ni mu. Ene urade do asha nama. Akuma abo nini mne urade asem asha nama no ye sitie eme urade. Sa akume yi ene wokwa yi. A wusye siye. No ame urade. A hii mo hii. A ba abe faso. Ni ema dada wukondo ne ye ufeno. Ankuwe yi na kwa. No ama no kwa yi. No abe ye na hii mwa. Ewa wakumbe. Nwa tine mwe di hini. Saa kwenye yusu. Ena obeka. Achira wuse mo. Na wansu ibisi wye. Let us pray. 
We thank you that, Lord, you are reminding us of the starting and the process by which we can become your children, renouncing all the sins in us and accepting you as Lord of our lives. Lord, grant us the faith and the grace to go through this. This year may be a year of blessing unto your people because we have also run away from the world and unto you. Following you, may our hearts be homes. May our hearts be places. May our hearts be temples for you. Come and abide with us. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving and adoration. Amen. <music>